the boat ramp, Nick. A place of fear for some, but that doesn't need to be the case. I'm saying a good boat trailer. That's the key. It will change your life, Andrew. Nothing gives you more cred at the ramp than driving off and on like a boss. Here are our pro tips. Whether we like it or not, every trailer boat outing begins and ends at the ramp, and boat trailers and launch retrieve techniques can be a mixed bag. The easiest way is drive off and drive on. Here are our tips. Use your mirrors, use your mirrors. Now, all boat trailers are different as are boats. The key to successfully retrieving and launching your boat, driving it on and off the trailer, is depth. So if you go too deep, the boat, the back of the boat will start floating around and you don't want that. If you're too shallow, the boat will be heavy and hard to move and difficult to get off the trailer. You don't want that either. Our tip is to pick a reference point on your trailer, which gives you that Goldilocks depth. For us, it's about water level with the back of the mud guard, and that's with the boat sort of floating enough to get her off the trailer. Every ramp is different in terms of length and angle, so your trailer reference point will change marginally, but it's a good place to start. The water here is flat, but if your ramp cops some surge, only back down so the high point of the surge reaches your desired depth. Further than that, and you run the risk of the boat being washed off the trailer. And there's one other important point to remember. Trust me on this one, leave your safety chain on until the boat is in the water. The safety chain is your friend. Only take it off when at least some of the trailer is in the water. Remember that, and this will never happen to you. With the trailer into the correct depth, release the winch strap and stand by. And so while that's happening, it's worth just having the boat idling forward in gear to keep the boat up on the trailer so nobody's fingers get mashed or it doesn't come off unexpectedly. Then it's just a matter of a little bit of reverse. And if you're in the right depth, the boat slides right off. Water depth behind the boat as you come off the trailer is another important thing to consider. Prop strike is a real possibility, so have the engine trimmed well up. When the time comes to put the boat back on the trailer, use exactly the same Goldilocks depth as we use when launching. Then comes the most challenging stage of the operation, driving it on. So when it comes to driving on, the all important driving on, um, what you need to do is assess whether there's any drift, wind or tide or current, and then give yourself as much space off the back of the trailer as you think you need. You know, don't try and do it from too close. Once you think you're happy, it's just slow and steady, but we need forward momentum to maintain a little bit of steerage. Not too fast, don't make a crash of it. Into gear, out of gear, adjust your eye line to the middle of the trailer, and we are there. And then when we're there, a little bit of throttle, keep her coming, up she goes. Perfect. It's a piece of cake at a nice sheltered ramp like this, but they won't all be like this. If things are going pear-shaped, abort the attempt early. Reverse well back and have another crack. Drive on, drive off saves time, effort and keeps your feet dry. It's a skill well worth mastering. And then before the boat is out of the water, we would always recommend you pop on the safety chain. That way, nothing bad 